This woman is controlling the monster, or she is the monster. As she makes punching gestures, the monster also does exactly what she did, making the monster to destroy the helicopter beside it. As the woman dances, the monster also dances. The monster mimics whatever the woman does. It seems like they are sharing a body. So how does she do that? This woman is named Gloria, who just broke up with her boyfriend. After returning from New York, she went back to the house left by her parents. But now the house is empty of anything. Gloria decides to solve the sleeping problem first, so she buys an air bed and a nearby grocery. On her way back, Gloria accidentally meets an old friend, Oscar, who was her classmate in elementary school. Gloria then is invited get into his car. The two goes to catch up with the old days together in a large bar run by Oscar. Oscar introduces his two friends to Gloria, with whom she has a couple of drinks at the bar. After chatting for a long time, Gloria staggers to go home, carrying her air bed on her shoulder. She passes by a park, where she leaves a trail of footprints. Back home, perhaps tired, Gloria falls asleep when sitting on the ground. But just when she is still sleeping, a phone call wakes Gloria up. The voice in the phone sounds very anxious, as if something big had happened. When Gloria opens her computer with a puzzled look, she is completely stunned by the news above. It says that Seoul was attacked by a monster who had suddenly appeared, causing an unprecedented panic among the citizens. Gloria, overwhelmed by the shock of the incident, covers her mouth with her hands in disbelief. So in the evening, Gloria goes to Oscar's bar for drinking again. They watch as the news about the monster on TV. It is so unbelievable that the monster is true. Gloria stays at the bar until late and on her way home, she passes by the park again. With mixed feelings, Gloria sits on a park bench and sleeps in the park all night. Waking up the next day, she decides to call her ex-boyfriend after thinking for a long time. Before talking a few words, he hangs up the phone, making Gloria so angry that she drops her phone to the ground. After returning home, Gloria starts to set up her air bed with her mood calming down gradually. Just then, the doorbell rings and it is Oscar. Knowing that Gloria doesn't have any furniture, he brings her a television. When finishing the installation of the television, Oscar offers Gloria a job at his bar which Gloria accepts immediately. However, on her first day of work, Gloria is distracted by something else. When she looks at the monster at news, she realizes that the monster's action looks like to hers when she dropped the phone. The more Gloria thinks about it, the more suspicious this thing becomes. At returning home, she looks up the previous videos again. The action of the monster putting his hands in front of his shoulders is almost the same as her action of carrying the air bed. How could this happen? Gloria thinks. She assumes that there must be a place bonding she and monster together that makes the latter copy every action of her. By looking up the map, she finally finds that place, which is the park that she always passes by. To test her guess, Gloria raises one hand and then lowers it. Then she raises two hands and puts them down again. After doing that, she rushes back home immediately and turns on the TV to check. As expected, the monster appears on TV for the third time, whose hand is raising. Gloria is dumbfounded. If the first gesture a coincidence, then the next is definitely not a coincidence because the monster raises its two hands immediately. Gloria is completely panicked. She can't believe that she has killed so many people unwittingly. The sad Gloria goes to the bar for a drink, and in the conversation, she tells her friends about what has happened. To prove that Gloria is true, they drives to the park. They goes to the website and waits to watch the live news feed as Gloria walks step by step into the park. The monster does appear on the phone as they expects. As Gloria dances, the monster dances with her. The sight of this shocks Gloria's friends. Then Gloria makes some gestures again, which destroy a helicopter accidentally. The death of pilot and helicopter makes Gloria feel sad badly. An unintentional gesture of hers has taken a life. Gloria wants to leave the park, but falls to the ground and passes out. When Gloria wakes up, she finds that she is home. Seeing the monster on TV, she turns off it immediately. At this moment, Oscar drops by and brings Gloria some food. Gloria cries out that she is going to turn herself into the police. If it hadn't been her alcohol problem, she wouldn't have killed so many people. Oscar tries to calm Gloria down. It turns out that things are more complicated than Gloria thinks. There is not only a monster in Seoul, but also a giant robot. Oscar is pretty sure that the robot is himself. After discussion, 
they decide to apologize to the citizens of Seoul. They go to the park, with a cell phone in Oscar's hand. Gloria becomes the monster and disperses the crowd. Then she writes an apology on the ground. This makes everyone think that it is a good and smart monster who doesn't mean to hurt people. Hearing that, Gloria relieves a lot. However, accident still happens. The next morning, Gloria sees the robot on TV again. When she rushes to the park, Oscar is still having fun of damaging the city. Gloria asks Oscar to leave, but Oscar refuses. Gloria has no choice but to walk up to Oscar and gives him a slap. Oscar has to leave the park. The scene of the righteous monster warding of the evil robot stuns all people. The news completely reverses the public's attitude toward the monster. They thinks that the monster is not a bad guy. On the contrary, it is protecting soul. As the hero monster becomes more popular, Gloria's life becomes even harder. In order to take revenge on Gloria, Oscar asks her to do all the grunt work. Oscar also asks Gloria to drink beer but is declined by Gloria who doesn't want to lose control after drinking. But Oscar threatens that if she doesn't drink, he will go for a walk in the park. But Gloria insists not to drink and even pours the drink before Oscar. Seeing this, he immediately goes to the park. Knowing that she can't stop Oscar, Gloria decides to have a fight with Oscar in the park. Seeing each other, they fight with each other immediately. In the meantime, the monster and the robot is also wrestling together. Gloria gives a heavy punch on Oscar and then bites his hand. Out of no choice, Oscar has to stop the fight. That day, when Gloria opens the door, she is surprised by the presence of Oscar in her house. She can't figure out what Oscar really wants. Things go back to one day in school many years ago, when a storm is coming. That day, Gloria and Oscar went to school together with their school project on hands. The strong wind blew away Gloria's project. Without any hesitation, Oscar put down his own project and went over the wall to find it for Gloria. Gloria followed him and went over the wall. Gloria would never forget in her life what had happened next. Picking up Gloria's school project, he didn't return it to Gloria but put it down on the ground. While Gloria was wondering what Oscar was going to do, she was surprised to see Oscar smash her project with his foot. Gloria was furious at this scene, but at that moment, something magical happened. The lightning in the sky slowly struck Gloria's head when a toy monster in the bag fell out. At the same time, Oscar was also hit by the lightning as a toy robot in his hand fell to the ground. Many years later, that place was built into a park. Until now, Gloria finally figures out everything happened before. It turns out that what Oscar really hates is nothing but himself, who can't accept his meaningless and pathetic life. The disagreement between them starts a fight once again. After fighting for a while, Oscar runs away from the house and goes to the park to do some damage. Gloria tries to stop him, but she can't beat Oscar who is much stronger than her. She soon falls to the ground and can do nothing but watch Oscar damaging the city. Looking at the footprints left on the ground, Gloria feels awful. It may cause hundreds of thousands of people die. After returning home, Gloria takes a look at the map on the wall. She resolves to stop Oscar's atrocity. Then, a great idea suddenly comes to her. Without any hesitation, Gloria flies to Seoul immediately. In the meantime, Oscar goes to the park after having a drink. Soon, the robot shows itself up in Seoul. Meanwhile, Gloria arrives in Seoul. Looking at the robot before her, she gathers her courage and walks towards it. Oscar is preparing to show his strength to the city, completely unaware of the coming danger. The citizens of Seoul run away in panic, when a little fatty among them suddenly falls down. Seeing the robot's foot is coming closer to him, he is so terrified that he can't move his body at all. As the robot is about to step down on him, Oscar suddenly feels a tremor. Gloria is stepping forward and a giant monster appears before Oscar. As the monster looks straight at Oscar, Oscar turns around and runs away out of panic. Noticing the robot is going to escape, Gloria grabs him immediately. When Oscar is picked up, the robot is also floating in the sky. As Gloria takes her hand back, the robot also flies back. At this point, Oscar is completely freaked out, begging for mercy and even cursing loudly under desperation. Gloria makes her mind and directly throws Oscar far away. After the robot flies away, the monster also disappears. That park is also completely destroyed, and the citizens gathering around cheers for that. Though having saved everyone's life, Gloria can't tell if she's happy or not. She walks into a grocery and sits down, bursting into tears. 
The clerk asks Gloria if she needs any help. But Gloria says all she wants is a beer. This is the end of the story. If you like it, please give me a like. See you next time.